adding and editing text. In many places in Moodle where you can type in text, you will see Moodle's purpose-built editor known as Atto. We see it here in a topic section summary. Many of the icons you'll know from word processing or other online programs, but some may be unfamiliar. The link icon allows you to link text to an external website or an uploaded file. So, for instance, if we select the text BBC Talk French and then click the link, a pop-up appears, allowing us to paste in a URL or web address. The text will change colour, but note that the link will only work once you've saved your changes. The Atto editor automatically saves what you type, so if you have to leave it for a while, or you accidentally go onto a different page or lose your connection, you don't have to start again. The Atto editor also allows you to drag and drop images directly into the text box, something we look at in another video. Two other useful icons are here. They help ensure your text is designed well to make it accessible for everyone on all devices, including people with restricted sight who use screen readers. If, for instance, we paste some information from Word, which has different colours and different font styles, when we click the accessibility icon, we see many warnings about our poor design. If you really want to use different colours and different font styles, and you know about design, you can change your text editor, if your admin allows, by going to the user menu top right, clicking on preferences, and then editor preferences. Technical people might use plain text if they want to add code. Tiny MCE is an alternative editor which many people know from other online software such as blogging software. If we select it, you can see what it looks like. Again, the hamburger icon top left allows you to expand the toolbar for more options. However, Tiny MCE does not have the same features as Atto and for that reason we suggest you use Moodle's own editor, Atto.